whew, the weather has changed just like that here in Columbus, Ohio. What's going on, everybody? The channel is Dad Planet, and you are watching the One Man Show. I don't have a ton of time to thrift today, but we are going up to the thrift stores, and I'm taking you along for the ride like I always do. Great brands in this video. A couple of cold weather items that I'm excited to feature. Had to use Google Lens to look them up because women's garments and women's styles are really not my wheelhouse, but I do love the brands. A good you know, number of bread and butter items in this one as well. I'm also going to address a comment by Kay Daisy who says, I don't mean to be ugly, but you look exhausted. You can barely keep your eyes open. Kay Daisy, I'm going to address your question directly here coming up. It was a whopping 43 degrees today when I got out of my car, which even for October is still a little bit on the cold side, but hopefully it heats up inside the thrift stores. We can find some hot items to resell. I'm gonna have you look over my shoulder here and we'll see what we can't dig out of this place. Like I said, we gotta go quick today. So let's make the most of it, shall we? All right, crate and barrel, nothing there. This little thing caught my eye. You know, I immediately, it's not this glass, it's the next thing. I think of my you know, young daughters who love little animations like this. This is a really cute bowl. So it's a ramen bowl, but if you look at the bottom of it, it's not marked. So I really you know, struggled until I grabbed the lid here and flip it over. And I had to look this up and I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. Is it Tachi Kichi? Like a Tachi Kichi. It's a Tachi Kichi Donburi collaboration of some sort. This ramen bowl here is super cute. And I saw a sold comp recently. I'll put it up on the screen for you. It came from Japan and it was a set of the two bowls that sold for like $110. So I think maybe I can get 30 to $40, maybe even $50. I probably price it at 40 uh, just because it is the single bowl. But I thought that was really cute. And hey, I'll take it. We'll, we'll take a chance at it. Next thing here is Lululemon. I had this in my cart. I think, I don't remember if I found this on the rack, but I think it was on one of the brand new racks that came out. So the style on this shirt here is called Radiant for Lululemon. It's a wrap shirt. It's got a little button there in really nice condition, kind of like a plum purple color. And I'm gonna list that for $40. The app that I used for that was Google Lens. I use Google Lens a lot to try to identify items, especially women's clothing, because I'm just it's just not a strength of mine. It never has been, and quite honestly, it's kind of intimidating, which is why I avoid it most of the time, except today, and I found another item here coming up that is amazing. This right here is a set of Corel coordinates um, silverware. Now, I don't know a ton about this. It looked kind of very contemporary, very art deco. I did not find any comps on it. The I think the Abundance style, I think it's called Abundance for Corel coordinates, sells pretty well, but I'm gonna just take a chance on this again because I wanna diversify most often where I can. So they only wanted $5 for those and um, I'll probably price them at 30 bucks. Next thing I found, I swung over to the other side of the carts here. The brand here is Arcarock and they're fish plates, right? But I was actually surprised at how well these sell. So a recent set of two just sold, I think for $25, uh, the screen share here will uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I see a lot of sets of four being sold and there are only two here, but they're only gonna cost me 99 cents. So $2, I'll probably list mine for 25 bucks as well. I think that will be an easy flip just based on the fact that the sold comparables were pretty good. There's a lot listed, but they sell well enough. Nothing on the bottom of that cart here, but I went to the next one and really scored here. So this is a pair of um, Birkenstock Gizas. They're a size 39. You have to pay attention to Birkenstock. Giza style. There's a oiled leather style, which is not this style, that is like $150 brand new on their website. You'll also see a larger buckle. The pair that I have has a smaller buckle. That larger buckle, buckle style, that's $130 brand new. So for resale, when you're listing them, you have to pay attention to that because you could probably get more money. I have just the basic brown style right here that I will probably list for $30. I think they're a 39 is size nine in Birkenstocks. I don't remember exactly, but just when you have Giza, there's a twist wrap style that will get you even more money. 
but you have to pay attention to that because those little subtle differences, you know, the devil is in the details there. So I would hate for you to lose out on money you would be otherwise making if you didn't know the distinct differences of that Giza um, thong sandal. So keep that in mind. We're headed over to the jeans. Got a pair I like here. It is the um, silver. The style is Zach Flap Pocket. And these sell really well. It's gonna cost me $7. And when I source jeans, I always like to look to see if there's any fraying. And if there is fraying at the bottoms, uh, it's not gonna deter me in some cases. So obviously none here, they're in great condition. Some fraying I, I will take, it's not a problem. I just, I wanna know what the extent of the damage is if there is any at all. So those back pockets will have to be probably ironed a little bit for picture purposes, but they're a size 36 in, with a 32 inseam. The list to sell ratio for that exact size, this exact style pant is six to six. Six currently listed, six have sold in the last 90 days. I think the most appropriate price for those is gonna be $30, and I expect them to sell relatively quickly. This area, um, this store, the men's jeans, there's just not a lot of them lately, and there's a couple of like jeans only sellers that come through here and kind of like raid the place. Every, um, every couple of days a week. So maybe that's the case. Maybe they just took uh, the vast majority of anything that had any value out and I got lucky there. I don't really know, but I will take it. Next bolo here is a book called The Lexus Story. $2.99 was the price on it. I'm not exactly sure if I can sell this pre-owned because I saw some sold, some brand new. I, I What I'm trying to tell you is I don't think I can sell it brand new because the brand new copies that I see that have sold in the last 90 days were sealed. And even though this is in the box and it's got this protective styrofoam here, I don't think I can list this as brand new, though I would really like to. So brand new, there's a sold comp for 80 I'm gonna price this at 50 because it comes with like that owner's manual and it comes with this nice box. So even though it's not sealed, I think I can push this to $50 and for three bucks, um, I mean, you can't really go wrong if uh, if you're right there. Do I, Could I price it at 80? Could I try? Maybe, but I think 50 is the more appropriate price. This is an area of this store that I don't really pay much attention to. Tons of baskets, um, Longa Burger, for those of you that don't know, they are currently headquartered in New York, but for a long time they were headquartered in Newark, Ohio, which is very close here in Columbus. So you'll see the big basket building, very unique, but um, they have since moved on to New York. And I know Longa, ba Longa Burger baskets sell well. There's a couple that you see here. I like to you know look to see if they have the lining first before I do anything. I don't know if those have any value. If I, if I pass them up and screwed up, let me know. Um, but just some interesting Ohio history for everybody there. And um, I want you to pay attention to this right here. Anytime you see this prescription only, this RX, don't list these items on eBay. You, unless you're approved to sell items that require a prescription of some sort, uh, you'll get a Vero for these. And um, yes, you will see some listed and some people have permission to list pres prescripted items like this. Um, some don't and they're just getting away with it. If you see that, just avoid it. Just avoid the trouble. Um, you don't want to get an unnecessary Vero. Next thing here, these new wave infrared ovens. These are awesome, but you can see that fan was destroyed and I don't even think the grate to the fan, yeah, it was on this one. So $10 for that is worth absolutely zero to me because they are totally broken. But I like the um, next item here. I've been selling a lot more coffee machines lately. And this is this one has really good sell-through rate. Um, not very many listed, but lots of good sold. So I think they priced this one at uh, six dollars. I can't remember. I don't remember looking at the tag. It's a Compresso 440, and it needs to be cleaned a little bit. I might put run that through the um, the washer. It will certainly be cleaned and tested. But if it's in working condition, and I have 24 hours to return this. Um, it's 50 bucks. So Compresso 440, really nice style. And hopefully it's, you know, easy to operate, which most of them are. So I'll take that $50. That's no problem there. And, you know, I make a ton of coffee here at the house. So it's not like I'm doing anything different than I normally do. Um, anytime you need to find a manual, by the way, you can always find those manuals online to figure out how to operate them properly. Um, just search the item and then use the term manual and you will most likely find the, um, the manual that you need to, to test it properly. So even if it doesn't come with it, uh, it doesn't really matter. Do you see all those golf clubs? They have a ton of golf clubs in that location right now, none of which I either know about or suspect that they have any value, so skipped over on those. So here, okay, 
I don't do women's clothing a lot, but like I'm feeling like, you know, if I'm going to be a responsible reseller, I got to look in this area and I totally get lucky with this one item here coming up because again, most of this stuff I don't, that was a nice Brooks Brothers piece right there, but I just, I'm not familiar with it. And so I tend to go with what I know, but listen, if I'm going to be a well-rounded reseller, you have to do these things. You have to continuously learn. And I'm glad I did because this is a great brand for resale, Patagonia. It should be no... Uh, a no-brainer for most of us but and this is also kind of like a wrap style the style is Anya and it wouldn't stay on the <laughs> hanger for the life of me so I'm sorry for like the shoddy camera work there but I think this is probably gonna be 30 bucks I see a recent comp a, a blue style wrap Anya wrap for Patagonia that sold for $28 so all right stitching is fantastic it's well made I'll put it together and put some nice photos and we'll slap $30 on that. But finding Patagonia on the racks to me is crazy because this, again, this is one of the areas or the stores that just gets destroyed with Poshmark sellers. And um, so I almost don't ever bother, but um, I think that Ralph Lauren is fake. That tag looked fake, but I don't usually do it and I'm glad I did. So we're not doing too bad with all of the other items that I find. Anytime I find a good, like, higher quality brand i always you know continue to look in the same area because sometimes those closets will hold um more of the, the same brands no luck in that case but i've only spent 39 dollars right here and i stand to list everything at 325 so it really doesn't take much even your quick trips to the thrift stores be fruitful good brands good sell-through rate i think most of these will sell relatively quickly with the uh, exception of the silverware since i don't really know the silverware but uh yeah great trip okay daisy you want to know what is exhausting i'm going to tell you what's exhausting it is exhausting being a cleveland browns fan aaron chamberlain i know you can relate to this so they're two and two right now and they are in first place in the afc north but i feel like i've seen this movie before and i know how it ends right it's like the titanic i don't need to watch that movie i know how it ends it's actually like dating leonardo dicaprio and turning 25 right so they're in first place they've got a quarterback that is extremely polarizing who hasn't played yet they've got a great running game their best player was just in a major car accident what's the identity of this team have they been to the playoffs what twice in the last 30 years i'm so tired of getting my hopes up only to have them crushed at the end of the year i feel like i know how this goes so you want to know what i'm tired of i'm tired of being a cleveland browns fan go browns just a quick reminder that life is 10 percent what happens and 90 percent how you react brendan here dead planet the one man show hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the dad planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time i upload a video to youtube that's it. That's all I've got for you. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.